Hi everyone, and welcome back to Curious by Nature. My name is Chanel, and today we're gonna to be talking about one of my favorite insects, monarch butterflies. Now, you've probably heard of the monarch migration, but where are the monarchs migrating to? And how do scientists even know where they end up? We're gonna be joined by Dr. Doug Terran, one of our insect experts, to learn all about monarch migration, monarch tagging, and more. If you're ready, we're ready. Let's get started. Today we are going to be learning about monarchs and tagging monarchs to help scientists track their migration. So the butterfly we're working today is the monarch. And the monarch is one of the most familiar butterflies, not only in North America, but the, in the entire world. This is really an iconic butterfly species. When most people think of a butterfly, they think of the monarch. And monarchs are a very common species here in the Chicago area. We are right in the heart of their summer breeding range here. And so uh, between the end of May and right about now, every summer there are three to four generations of the monarch that uh, are found here in Illinois. So one of the really cool things about monarchs is that they migrate every year. Uh, it's almost more like a bird than a butterfly in that respect. Monarchs uh, that emerge from their chrysalises anywhere between the middle of August and the middle of September are the migratory generation. And they are going to fly south from here in the Midwest all the way to the transvolcanic mountains in central Mexico, about 100 miles west of Mexico City. And this is an amazing journey. And one of the ways that scientists have learned that the same butterflies travel all the way from southern Canada, all the way from here in the Chicago area, down to central Mexico, is that they tag them. They put little stickers on the butterfly's wings, and butterflies that have been tagged here in Chicago or even further north, that same butterfly has been recovered down in Mexico. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be putting some of these tags on monarch butterfly wings and letting them go and continue on their migration to Mexico. But what we've got is some little tags. They're sticky tags that are about the size of a paper punch and a data sheet. And the tags all have a number on them and the number is going to allow us to track where and when the monarch was tagged and then with luck somebody somewhere along its migration route will recover it and find one of our tags. So the information that I have to fill out on the data sheet here is the number on the tag, today's date, um, whether the monarchs are wild caught or reared at home, whether the monarch is a male or a female, and where we are doing the tagging. So all of the monarchs that we are going to tag today, we've gotten here on the grounds of the Nature Museum, so they're all wild caught. The first butterfly that we've got here is a male monarch, and the reason you can tell it's a male is that if you look right on the wing, right there, you'll see a little thickening in the vein, and the males have that and the females don't. Uh, and so we know that this one is a male, and so what I'm gonna write down on my sheet here is the number on my first tag, today's date, I will fill in that it's a male, that we are letting it go in Chicago. I am uh, taking the sticker and I'm just gently putting it into about the middle of the wing and then I just press gently with my thumb and forefinger to affix the sticker in place and now we have a tagged monarch. So now that he's tagged, we're gonna send him back on his way to Mexico, so bon voyage. Okay, so this time we have a female monarch and what you can see here is where the male had a little thickening in the vein. The female, the vein is just straight and there's no little spot sticking on the vein there. Okay, so uh, now we have our female. Uh, we're gonna again write the tag number down here and today's date, we will mark her as a female monarch. Again, wild caught and in Chicago. Tag onto the wing press lightly and say goodbye. 
So when people recover the tags, most of the tags get recovered in the wintertime when the monarchs are down in Mexico. And in addition to doing tag recovery, scientists in Mexico also every year take a survey of how big the monarch population roosting in the mountains is. And unfortunately, over the past couple of decades, the monarch populations in Mexico have been declining. And so people have been concerned about this from a conservation standpoint. And so it's important to know about the migration and about the wintering so that we can ensure the monarch continues to be a part of the landscape here in the Midwest every summer. That's our show for today. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have questions about monarchs, be sure to drop them in the comments below so Dr. Doug can answer them. If you'd like to learn more about the work that Dr. Doug and our other insect experts do with monarchs, be sure to visit naturemuseum.org slash monarchs to learn more. If you're interested in learning about more local species like swallowtails, be sure to check out these videos. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss a future episode. We'll see you back here next time on Curious by Nature.